Hi folks, Puffin here. I learned a lot of things today watching Simka Jacobovich videos um, that I didn't even watch his main thing about Jesus's tomb, but one about the lost gospel that talked about Jesus being married to Mary and that she was from another religion and that their religion was a transcendental religion was fascinating. Um, but some details in that video, and the video is titled The Lost Gospel on I what's it called? Idea? Oh, I forget the name of the channel right now. But anyway, it's called The Lost Gospel, a Simka uh, Jacobovich video. And in the end of it, he mentions something about Afghanistan. Now, I watched his other video about Jesus going to visit the Gadarean people. And Gadara was apparently southern Spain, according to his work in that video. The, uh, people of Gadara were uh, potentially the lost Israeli tribe of Gad who went there um, in, around the time of Jonah and that Jesus was retracing the journey of Jonah because Jonah was also going to southern Spain, which was called Tarsus at the time and called Gad in the, or Gadara in Jesus' time. So it would fit that that's the place they went to the land of the Gadareans. Um, and that was fascinating. And then I... I had not focused on this as much, but in that video it mentions that one of the, in the Judaic Messiah, one of his roles is to gather the lost tribes. So he would go to the lost tribe and ask them to come back, basically. And he even found evidence that some of them did come back. His work is responsible, as I've learned from Wikipedia looking at him, for helping bring back the Ethiopian Jews. So 100,000 Jews from Ethiopia uh, come back to Israel. And he mentions that the people of Afghanistan, or the people of Pakistan, the Pashtun people are the other are another lost tribe of Israel, and that this uh, animosity between Afghanistan and the West would be seen in a different light when we realize that they're a lost tribe of Israel. And it makes me think: Do we should we treat people differently anyway? Should there be 